The Duchess of Sussex, a vocal critic of Donald Trump in the past, will not be joining Prince Harry and the Queen for a private lunch with the President on the first day of his state visit to the UK. Meghan, who once branded President Trump divisive and described him as a misogynist, will be staying at home with baby Archie instead. The Queen will be supported by senior royals when she hosts the American leader and his wife Melania over three days beginning on June 3rd. The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall will join the Queen for the official ceremonial welcome being staged in Buckingham Palace's garden instead of the usual Horse Guards Parade venue in Whitehall, a decision likely due to security concerns. There will also be a state banquet for the President on June 3rd, a lavish white tie dinner staged in the Palace's ballroom. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will join the Queen and Charles and Camilla for the event, which will feature leading figures from UK national life and prominent Americans in Britain. Buckingham Palace released the itinerary for the President's three-day visit to the UK today, which will see him and First Lady Melania also having tea with the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall at Clarence House before visiting Downing Street for talks with Prime Minister Theresa May. The private lunch will see the Queen and Prince Harry meet the President, but the Duchess of Sussex will avoid a potentially awkward meeting with the leader. In 2016, then Suits actress Meghan campaigned against Mr. Trump becoming President and instead backed Hillary Clinton for the position. She said, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, not because she is a woman, but because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting. Mr. Trump is reportedly bringing his grown-up children with him when he visits the UK, daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner, both advisors to the president, along with her siblings Tiffany Trump, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. When the state visit was announced in April, Mrs. May hailed it as an opportunity for the UK and US to strengthen our already close relationship, while the White House said it would reaffirm the steadfast and special relationship between the two nations. But confirmation of the trip was condemned at the time by Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornberry, who said the president had systematically assaulted all the shared values that unite our two countries. Royal gun salutes will be fired in Green Park and at the Tower of London to mark the visit. During President Trump's private lunch with the Queen and Prince Harry, Her Majesty will invite him and the First Lady to view a special exhibition in the picture gallery, which will showcase items of historical significance to the United States from the Royal Collection. After this, Mr. and Mrs. Trump, accompanied by Prince Andrew, will visit Westminster Abbey, where the President will lay a wreath at the grave of the unknown warrior. They will then be taken on a short tour of the Abbey. A packed day will continue with the President and First Lady joining the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall for tea at Clarence House. In the evening, the Queen will host a state banquet at Buckingham Palace and both Her Majesty and the President will make speeches at the start of the banquet. The following morning, the President and Theresa May will co-host a business breakfast meeting, attended by the Duke of York, at St. James's Palace, with senior UK and US business leaders. The President and Mrs. Trump will then visit 10 Downing Street to hold talks with the Prime Minister. Following lunch together, the leaders will attend a press conference. In the evening, the President and Mrs. Trump will host a return dinner at Winfield House, the residence of the Ambassador of the United States of America. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall will attend the dinner on behalf of the Queen. On Wednesday, the final day of the visit, the Queen, accompanied by Prince Charles, will join Mr. and Mrs. Trump and will attend the national commemorative event for the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings at Celsius Common, Portsmouth, alongside more than 300 D-Day veterans. The event will tell the story of D-Day through musical performance, testimonial readings and military displays, including a fly-past of 25 modern and historical aircraft. Heads of state and government representatives from the countries involved in the military operation will also attend. The Queen will formally bid farewell to the President and Mrs. Trump in Portsmouth. The President and Mrs. Trump will depart privately later in the day. Mr. Trump's first trip to the UK as president sparked controversy last year and critics have said he should not have been given the honor of an official state visit. The visit comes after Prime Minister Theresa May announced that she would resign as Tory leader on June 7. 
The visit has already stirred up political opposition, with Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn declining an invitation to the banquet, accusing Trump of using racist and misogynist rhetoric. House of Commons Speaker John Bercow, who has ruled out allowing Trump to address Parliament, and Vince Cable, leader of the Liberal Democrats, have already declined the invitation to the dinner.